It's Lori Ballen here in Las Vegas at Your Command Coaching. Today I'm going to talk about the new editable smart plans and what we're actually looking at today because it's going to be different down the road. So if you go over to the left hand side and you click on smart plans, what you're going to see now is to the right, you're going to see some little add contact. There's a share icon that isn't functioning yet. Copy. There's a pencil and there's a trash can. So the edit is working. But I want to show you what's editable right now and what, what we can do with it. All right. Now, what's really cool is that we can actually take an existing campaign, edit it, and save it as a duplicate campaign. So then we always still have our primary one. So for example, we can create an eight by eight seller, an eight by eight buyer, an eight by eight investor, an eight by eight open house lead. Because in my opinion, they don't all fit, right? And so we need things that are different. All right, so let's just take a look at this eight by eight. If you click on the little pen, on the little arrow here, remember when I teach KW Command, I'm always saying, look for the arrows or the three dots if you can't find something working or the plus sign. Those three things. If you're stuck, you're looking at the white screen of death, you need the plus sign. If you can't find what everybody else is saying, you need to click on it's probably three dots or it's an arrow. So when I click on the arrow, what I can see is all of the touches in this campaign. Now, as of today, this is late 2019. Um, as of today, we have the ability to send automated text messaging as long as you have Twilio set up. Now, you can watch my other video on how to set up Twilio. And I do want to let you know one thing I said incorrectly on the original Twilio video. I said it was seven cents. This is why I said don't quote me about money. It's I said it was seven cents, but it's point zero zero seven cents so it's like seven tenths of a penny for a text something like that so go to the Twilio website and make sure you look at it it's really cheap you throw 20 bucks in there and you're going to pay less than a penny per text they do charge you back and forth but then there's other plans and there's stuff you can look at okay so in order to send a text through kw command you have to have a Twilio account set up and you have to have money in there okay that's important to know as of today, they're the only email that is going out automatically is the neighborhood nurtures, and those are being sent through MailJet. As of today, we don't yet still have the ability to send email through these smart plans. So let me show you what you can do, okay? So let me go up here to edit. So my thought is, as of today, is creating a text-based campaign and if you are somebody that likes tasks you can leave tasks in here a task to send an email a task to make a phone call now what's coming and who knows i mean this could be out already by the time you watch this video again it's late 2019 um heading into the holidays so we'll see as of right now there's placeholders over here for create a task make a call send a simple email, set delay, send SMS, send HTML, add to smart plan, restart flow. So these, this is a, you're going to create these flows that allow you to have some automation set up. If this happens, you know, send this email, then assign a task, then do this. Or if you assign a smart plan, this flow will happen. Some of you know this as campaigns or funnels or um, any, anyway, path some people call them paths and right now they're not active yet so you can see here where it says choose a trigger event so we're going to be able to have actions and campaigns of some sort these flows start by trigger but that's not yet activated okay so as of today what we can do is edit what's existing as like this so this day one says send sms OK, now, if I scroll down here, the only thing I'm able to do today is edit it and save it. OK, edit it and save it later. We'll be able to delete a step. We'll be able to move it up, move it down. 
Um, Josh team said that they were rolling this out slowly. And I think the primary focus to give us this now is simply to edit those texts because so many of us were upset about the, hey, I want to have coffee text that was being sent out that they've given us the ability to edit those. Okay. So here's the first touch. Send SMS. Hey, first name. Now look down here. You can see what it says. Hey, first name. It's Lori Balance. See where it says agent first name. That's you. So hey, contact. I don't want last name in there. That's hilarious. I would never say, hey, Bobby Smith. <laughs> I'm going to say, hey, Bob, right? I'm not going to say, hey, Bob Smith. So, hey, Bob, it's Lori Ballon from Lori Ballon Team. See those placeholders? Would love to grab coffee sometime. Let me know what your schedule looks like in the next few days. All right. I don't want it to ever say, would you like to have coffee? That's not my jam at all. So I'm going to edit this and I'm going to say, when are you looking to move? Question mark, check mark, save. So now instead, uh, as soon as I put somebody on an eight by eight touch, now I'm going to rename this right now so that I know um, what it's going to be called. This is going to be my eight by eight buyer. This will be my eight by eight buyer campaign. See how it's saved? Okay. So now watch this. As soon as the plan's done, you go up to this little plus sign and I'm going to save and continue. And now I can add people to this campaign. So I can select all. I can include shared contacts. I can search by tag so I can find all of my buyers and I can put all of my buyers on um, the smart plan, select all, add to smart plan. Now, keep in mind, all of them are going to suddenly get a text. So make sure that that buyer tag you have isn't like people that already closed, right? This is where these tags are going to be such a big deal. Because like I have, it's not, let, it's not yet letting us say if they have this tag, but not this tag, right? So it's going to, that means everybody I've ever had with the buyer tag now gets put in this 8 by 8 We don't want that. So I need a new tag that's something like a um, uh, new buyer opportunity or lead so that I can set it to all my buyer lead, seller lead. That's actually a better way to do it. So I might go back in here and re-tag these because I have like, um, no, it's not letting us pick people that were that are tagged as a lead. So I have to go back in and tag them. So this is where tagging is going to be really important. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back into mine and tag all my new buyer leads as, as, as buyer lead. And then I'll tag my seller leads as seller lead. And then I will re remove them. I will remove buyer lead once they are in some sort of a um, communication with my agents on my team. Okay. So that was the first one. Now the second task Set delay seven days. So I'm clicking on it. There's nothing to edit there. Okay. Now the next one is create a task. So do you want it to be a non-touch or a touch? It'll let you change this, but it's not going to let you change those just yet. And paste a hyperlink here. And then how many days it's not letting us edit those. So essentially what we're seeing so far today as we're looking at this 8x8 smart plan is that we have an ability to edit the messages. We don't yet have the ability to remove a task, re excuse me, remove a task or change the dates or add a task or anything like that. So bottom line is if it's what this is really designed to do is go in here and change your text messages, then you can have your Twilio connected and then you can apply tags and set people up on these eight by eight buyers and eight by eight sellers. So somebody like me, I want to get rid of all those manual tasks that are in the middle. I don't like manual tasks. I don't like them showing up in my dashboard. I want everything automated. So it should send a text. It should send an email. It's whatever. Um, so for me, I want to be able to get rid of those, and remove those. We can't yet do it. So bottom line, just go through, edit your text messages. And that's, the, that's at least where we can start today with editable smart plans. I'm Lori Ballin in Las Vegas.